Hey y'all, Blue here. Today I'm making a quick video about how you can make your builds better. This works whether you're max or not, thanks to the Layer 2 expansion update, and it being also a feature that has been in the game forever now. Not too many people do it, or do it anymore, which is like, why? But, what I'm talking about today is level 1 attunements. Now, I already know this used to be a really big thing among non-attunement builds way back ago, with them running one point into Gale that gave them access to Gale Lunge. It was a little OP seeing how you could get like, I'd say the best scale move without any investment. So when it became meta, a patch note was released, effectively killing off the one achievement for Gale Lunge by making it a one star mantra, which means 20 points invested just to get it back. But I think what a lot of people forget is that Gale was like one of five other achievements, and you could do the same thing with other achievements as well. It's probably also the best time to do this because of the layer 2 expansion, with the new shrines like the Shrine of Temptation that came out where you can swap equipped and mantras for three new ones. So you can always mix and match whatever mantras you want. Today I'm gonna go through all the attunements one by one to see which is the best attunement to do this with. And also I can, so I can lend in the video for money cause I need to buy myself some gas. I'm freezing my nuts off. Starting with Frost Roll, I'm gonna be honest, no star Frost Roll moves are pretty cheeks. I mean, Frost Grab is not bad, and Frost Servants could potentially go hard. It's not worth a mantra slot in my opinion. <laughs> Next we have Flame Charm, and this is quite the step up from Frost Draw. Well actually, the No Star Mantras are basically Frost Draws and then some. You got a better grab with Flame Grab, and you got Burning Servants, which is basically a better frozen servant because you can catch your enemies on fire but you also got even more options to you with fire blade which is a really solid combo extender being able to do really high positive damage as well then you got flame blind which can go crazy if your opponent doesn't expect it or is like newer to the game that's really it though the rest of the mantras are god awful like who really uses fire gun like be real with me now Now we have the attunement that started the whole trend, which is Gale Breath. Like I said, Gale Lunge was on like every build because of it being a no-star mantra at the time. So after its promotion, there were only two no-star mantras. Or actually, there were three now since Tornado Kick was added later on. Let's we'll start with Windblade. It's ass. Well actually, it's not bad, but if you're purely trying to get all the mantras available to you without any investment, which is how we're looking at it, and it's pretty terrible since you need at least 20 attunement to be able to turn it into Tempest and win. Next, we got Air Force, which is the goofiest move ever that is good for some reason. It has a quick windup and can do heavy damage if you have a lot of elemental intensity on your build. Lastly, we got Tornado Kick, which is a solid combo finisher. There's not really a lot to say about it other than it can be glitchy sometimes. I'm sorry, I have a question I've been meaning to ask you. Why are you black? Alright, it's Shadow, and it's not really anything notable. Dark Blade really isn't a good combo extender, with it causing me to get hit like 7 times out of 10. I'd say it's probably the second worst blade move in the game. That's just me though. Next we got Shadow Gun, which is a decent move, and you have enough ether to use it though, after you give it the modifications it requires. However, I don't think it will be able to do a whole lot of damage, seeing as you would just have one point into Shadow, but I digress. Then we have Clutching Shadow, which is just another generic grab move. Pretty average stuff. Electricity! Electrify! Zap! You know, I just had to save the best for last. We got Thundercall. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, baby. Thundercall is like my bread and butter, and I try to put on everything. First up, we got Lightning Blade, and just mwah, chef's kiss. I personally think it's one of the best combo extenders in the game. And fainting then using the move is so good as well. It usually catches so many people off guard. I love Lightning Blade. But you know what I love more than Lightning Blade? Fucking Joe Grab. I said I'd give Lightning Blade a kiss, but for Joe Grab, I'll blow my whole load for it. Two words. Magnet Spark. This is one of the best moves in the game. It's like a better Rapid Slashes that requires way less ether and has a way shorter cooldown as well. Lastly, we got Electro Carve and... I'm not really gonna pay attention to Electro Carve. I don't want it to take away from the perfection of Undercall Mantras, so we'll just, just ignore it. 
But yeah, that's gonna be all for the no star mantras. They're pretty good for mantras that you aren't wasting any points on. If I had to rank the attunements from worst to best for no star mantras, it'd be Frost Draw, Shadow Cast, Gale Breath, Flame Charm, and then of course, Thunder Call. Also, one more thing. I've been hard at work on this video idea. It should come out after this video, so that's why I haven't been uploading. But it's coming and it's gonna be a really good video. All I'm gonna say is that it's gonna be an enjoyable progression. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please do subscribe. It helps me a lot and it means even more to me mentally. It's, it's, I'm really going through a lot of things right now. Anyways, catch the progression when it releases and you'll have a good day.